welcome back to new exercise in autodesk inventor this is the r model and uh, we are going to make a 3d model with the help of 2d drawing see all dimensions are in millimeter now you will see this is the front view and this is the section view in section view we will start from bottom the diameter 60 millimeter and the width how much just check top view 60 millimeter there is a hole 44 dia but we will make it letter then 105 millimeter up there is one more circular body 60 dia 30 there is a hole and the width of this 30 millimeter but there is a catch 10 millimeter one side 20 millimeter other side see this is the center line so let's do it create new now here go to metric select standard millimeter I dot ipt because i want to make our drawing in millimeter unit create now first i have to choose sketch select 2d sketch and first we have to define any one plane so i am going to select yz plane now activate here circle now move cursor over origin and you will see it is become green mid it means it is at center click with right left mouse and drag even though you will see the option to apply dimension so press 60 enter look now press escape key to out or right click and say ok see here now finish sketch and activate extrude feature now here see in input profile already selected because there is only one close profile start from the plane it is all already defined you don't need to put anything else here now behavior direction so direction i want to make symmetric see if i'm going to move it will move in both side so that we will get a perfect geometry now let's say distance 60 millimeter see it is become 60 output this is the name of solid body simply say yes now i'm going to apply material generic now from here i'm going to apply steel come down and you will see steel polished see now drop down and let me choose here x y plane now click this small symbol create sketch now i want to see section view so at bottom you will see this option slice graphics click on this and you will see exactly half of the body now here activate circle first i am going to draw one circle some somewhere here and let's make this diameter 60 right click ok exit and connect this point from here to something here and again close this profile ok now I vertical and select first this this line see again select this line ok this is already vertical we don't need to define anything right click ok dimension first define distance from here to here 105 okay right click okay now here we have to fix many things first i am going to fix tangent select this circle and this line it's going to be tangent similarly for this also it's going to be tangent now see drawing is fully constrained you will see now finish sketch extrude now here two close profiles so if you move your cursor anyone it will sh pop up or show you so first i am going to select this one now here profile already selected behavior let me choose only one direction it's going back side and this distance 20 according to drawing see here and this is output going to be join because there is already one body say ok even though right click edit feature 
you will see one more option this green buttons apply and now again we can select second circle now here i am going to select here asymmetric two see now in one direction direction a 10 direction b 20 so the total become 30 join now say ok now look now let's create this step 60 millimeter from center so we have to create one plane then you will see these diameter outer radius 60 there is circular 25 diameter and the distance from here to one end it's 25 then later we will make one rib 12 millimeter and this is lies at the center you will see from here 30 30 holes so let's do it now let me select one plane yz plane drop down and select offset from plane now here choose 60 okay now select the plane create a sketch activate again line tool now start from here to here and see if you come to the point and press and hold left mouse and drag leave somewhere here and connect right click ok now I am going to act activate circle and draw one here 30 diameter ok now let's define few important thing 25 now see this is fully defined sketch if you see section view see finish sketch extrude now move cursor and it will show you now look now let me rotate so that we will get a perfect view now this time i am going to select only one direction default we want to move upside 15 millimeter output boolean join rest ok see now right click on plane and uncheck visibility or from here walk plane right click uncheck visibility and here we go now again I am going to make a rib this is the center plane yz sketch activate line tool and connect this end to some somewhere here slice view now hold activate tangent constraint select the line and this arc activate coincident select this point and this point this is fully constrained ok even though we don't need to this line so simply you can delete it if you found any unnecessary line just simply finish now from here activate rip tool now this is first one is normal to sketch this is not going to be normal to sketch this is going to be parallel to plane select profile now direction is also wrong direction so change direction now look now here choose symmetric and here choose to next not hollow or finite here let's say 12 millimeter and here we go say ok see this is perfectly lies at center activate hole tool first I am going to choose type simple hole sitting none and here I am going to select through all ok let's keep through all and here the hole depth first 44 ok now select cursor somewhere here and again move your cursor to outer face and click outer face now it will allocate it at center 
see perfectly align at center here select plus now again now select front now this time I am going to change 30 everything we will keep same now this is the position if you move cursor position will be selected here make sure you select it is on I am going to place somewhere here just hold shift key and middle mouse and rotate your model and we have to choose one more reference so I am going to select for reference this outer face see it is adjusted according to center point of this outer face now that's it okay here we go if I am going to check view half section okay now here we go don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in Autodesk Inventor thanks for watching